Hey guys and welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today I have a Sephora haul for you. So if you want to see everything I picked up, then just keep on watching. Alright, so this Sephora haul is actually just a little bit different than my usual. Usually in my Sephora hauls I have like all new products or products, you know, that are new to me. So, but this time most of this is repurchases or products that I have been wanting for a while. So I'm just going to jump right into it. The first thing I want to mention I actually forgot to put in this order and it's not here yet. But it is something I already own so I figured I could just show you. And that is the Pharmacy Green Defense Sunscreen. I decided I, I was almost going to try the Super Goop Unseen sunscreen, but since I know this one works for me and I know I like it under makeup and I like it for just every day, I figured why change it if it's not broken? So I did decide to pick this up. I am I still have a decent amount, but I just wanted to go ahead and restock on some of the items that I know I'll be running out of in the near future because I don't want to be without these product without these products. So then the rest of it is obviously new in the box. <laughs> so I this is all the only thing in here that's new to me that I have not actually tried. So this is the Olaplex number no. 6 Bond Smoother. My hairdresser actually used this on me the last time I got my hair cut and she said this is actually the one product for hair that she actually sees a major difference with. Olaplex has had a lot of good reviews over the last couple of years that I've been hearing about them. So I did decide to pick this up and I did actually use it. I did use it last night and it, my hair brushed out really easily. It smelled pretty nice. Obviously I'm not going to see an overnight difference but hopefully with continued use it will just help keep my hair healthy and hopefully my hair can grow a little bit more. I've always struggled with hair growth and I think when I went super blonde that very much that damaged it. So now I'm just really working on getting my hair healthier and next time I get my hair dyed I will probably go darker. I know it's already pretty dark but I don't know, something about black hair just really draws to me, but I don't know if I can go that extreme. But anyway, that is what I picked up. This is the Olaplex number no. 6 Bond Smoother. Then I went ahead and repurchased my Ola Hendrickson Truth Juice Daily Cleanser. I absolutely love this stuff. I think this has played a big role in helping clear my skin. Honestly, my skin has not looked as good as it does in a long time, probably since high school, I started experiencing a lot of skin problems at the age of 19. Kind of came out of nowhere and I've been struggling with it for a long time. I'm 23, almost 24. And I bought this along with the Glow 2 O toner several months ago and honestly I feel like those two products have really helped my skin. I do plan on doing like an updated skincare video. Maybe I'll film that soon now that I'm pretty comfortable with the products that I'm using. I just really wanted to make sure that my skin would kind of stay nice. Of course, you're going to have problems here and there, but I truly do think that this product and the Glow 2 toner have really made a difference. So I repurchased this because I'm almost out of my other one. Then, also on the same token, I repurchased another Ola Henriksen Glow 2 toner. I am almost out of this as well. Like I said, I'm not quite out of the first version of this that I have, but I don't want to run out of them and then be stuck waiting for Sephora to deliver them. So I just went ahead and picked it up. And again, I really enjoy this. I use it at night. So usually in the morning, I will just use my Witch Hazel Toner. I decided to start adding that back in um, probably a few weeks ago, maybe a month or two ago at this point. But this is the one I always use at night. It does have like a little bit of a tingly feel, but it's nothing too extreme. And I just think that this is really great and I'm sure that this has helped my skin as well. Then I decided to pick up my Pharmacy Do It All Total Eye Cream. I am literally scraping out the last little bits of this. I mean, I keep getting more out of it. It gets stuck on the side, but I'm not going to throw it away until I get through all of it. But I know I'm getting close, so I decided to pick this up. I really enjoy this eye cream. I mean, I don't think that my under eyes look perfect, but I do think that it helps. Of course, when you're younger, it's you're kind of just doing like preventative stuff rather than corrective, and I think that's probably better. I'm sure by using this every single day, morning and night, I am helping my under eyes to stay looking more youthful and hopefully avoiding any excessive lines because aging is literally one of my biggest fears. 
I know we all do it, but I am not looking forward to aging at all. <laughs> so anyway, repurchased this, absolutely love this. I really enjoy Pharmacy as a brand. As you can tell, I do use quite a few of their products. And then I purchased the full size of the Pharmacy Honey Drop Lightweight Moisturizer. If you saw my recent Sephora haul update video, I talked about how I got this in the Mighty Minis kit from Pharmacy and I really do enjoy this. That kit also came with the nighttime firming moisturizer, but I, I actually like this one I think just a little bit better. I like the consistency of it better. So I think I will use this one day and night for now unless I think of something else I want to use for nighttime. Really the key is just putting moisture into your skin and that's going to help. So like I said, I decided to pick up the full size. So I'm happy I tried that minis kit because I got to try out four different products. Well, I still haven't tried out the face mask. I'm terrible about face masks, but the three products that I have tried, I do enjoy. I like the night firming one. It's just, it's almost the consistency of it that I'm not super in love with. But like I said, I wanted to pick up the full size of this because I am almost out of it in the mini. So that is it. That was a really quick Sephora haul. Like I said, I really was doing, I did well. I only picked up things I needed that, and a lot of it was repurchases. So that's exciting. I usually like to see what people end up repurchasing because if you only use a product once and you don't repurchase it, then I guess maybe you didn't really like it. That is it for this video. If you haven't yet, please go ahead and subscribe. It means so much to me when you do and leave a thumbs up on this video if you enjoy Sephora hauls. And that is it. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.